Hey everyone, welcome back to my five fave weight loss hacks for 2019. And this is our final one, but don't worry because I'm going to give you guys some bonus hacks over on the download over at karenmartel.com forward slash hacks. And you can download all five of these hacks that we've been going over the last five days, as well as a bonus five more hacks. Yes, that's right. You get 10 hacks in 2019. <laughs> so let's get into number five, which we've discussed in a few of these other ones. So I wanted to dive a little bit deeper into it, which is liver and gallbladder health. It is actually like known in doctor circles and out there on the web, the four F's when it comes to liver and gallbladder health, which is female, fat, 40, and flatulent. Oh, it's not terrible. So if you feel like you've got the four four F's and that applies to you, you are gonna want to listen up. All right. So First off, let's get into the symptoms of do you have a poorly functioning liver slash gallbladder? They work hand in hand. There's your liver, there's your gallbladder. Your gallbladder is the whole sole purpose of the gallbladder is to make bile. So it comes from, so, so does the liver. The liver can make bile, but it, it does um, connect to the gallbladder, which then makes bile and helps us to break down and emulsify fats okay and we'll tell you why this is so important when it comes to your metabolism and just your ability to lose weight so i put them together because they're both important if you're missing your gall gallbladder which is extremely common it's one of the most popular surgeries you can get right now then you still want to listen up because it still applies to you because now your poor little liver over here is having to produce all the bile by itself. And that can put a lot of strain on your liver, a lot of strain on the digestive system, and lots can go haywire. It's actually a very known fact that when women get their gallbladder out, there usually tends to be some weight gain because of it. So let's jump in. Uh, nausea, when you're not digesting foods very well and there's a problem with the gallbladder or the liver, one of the symptoms is definitely feeling sick to your stomach. Okay. So if I have someone that comes in and they're like, I just, you know, I eat and I feel nauseous afterwards. I always want to check out the status of the liver. Do they have a gallbladder? What's going on? Because it can be a symptom. Now, of course, nausea can be a symptom of many other things. So um, if it goes along with some of these other ones, it's something that you may want to check out. You may want to start supporting your liver on a regular basis. Okay. Um, fatty stools. Uh, you can tell if they're fatty stools, they usually tend to float on the top of the old toilet water. Um, Pain in between your shoulder blades, that's a common symptom of somebody that has gallbladder issues. Um, specifically, they've got a lot of gallstones going on and that can cause some pressure and it makes the in between the, the shoulder blades hurt in your back. Uh, abdominal pain, gas, bloating, it's huge. Itchy skin, yellow skin, headaches or migraines, constipation or diarrhea. So they're what I find um, super common when women, uh, or, and men too, but um, specifically we're talking to women right now, uh, when they switch to a keto or paleo diet, if they tend to get really constipated, it could be a problem with the liver gallbladder because it's not breaking down those fats as well as they should, and so it will cause constipation, especially keto, right? Keto is a very high fat diet. If you are not producing proper amounts of bile, you're not going to be able to break down all that fat that you're taking in, which then causes the constipation. If you're missing a gallbladder, it will usually do the opposite, and a lot of the time it will cause diarrhea. It's like it just goes right through. So either one, we've got some problems. Uh, 
hormone imbalance, right? Because the role of the gallbladder and the liver, so your liver is going to be processing all those hormones. If it's bogged down with toxins, it's going to, it's like it's, it's times being taken up by all of these toxins. It can't deal with the hormones and it's what should be filtering your hormones and processing them through your system. So if there's a problem with the liver, it's going to cause some hormone imbalance, right? As well, the gallbladder helps you to break down and digest all those amazing essential fatty acids from all the foods that you're eating, all those yummy avocados and coconut oil and butter and all those great things that you're eating is what your body uses to make hormones with. Cholesterol, good cholesterol. Where does good cholesterol come from? But the good fats. So if your body's unable to break it down, and absorb those good fats, we are going to have some serious hormone imbalance going on, okay? Um, hypothyroidism. Now, this one's very interesting. They, they're not sure the exact correlation, but there's been some studies coming out of Harvard that have shown a direct correlation between hypothyroidism and gallbladder issues. So we want to, and then I say they're not sure which one comes first, but they're seeing this correlation. So we want in, that you're you know, hypothyroid, your thyroid in general, right? Your thyroid is your metabolism. So if your liver is bogged down, your gallbladder is bogged down, of course it's going to be bogging down the hormones, right? And part of that is your thyroid, which is then your metabolism. So we need to rev up the thyroid, the thyroid by revving, by cleaning up the liver and getting that gallbladder functioning properly. All right. Um, dry skin and hair, as I'm itching my head for people that are watching the video, uh, dry skin and hair is another very common one because you're not absorbing those amazing essential fatty acids, then you're going to see that in your skin and in your hair. Uh, weight loss resistance because of all of those things that we just talked about and we talked about digestion in the last one. So um, if there's not good digestion going on, it's going to cause weight loss resistance as well. Um, but just like I said, if you're to you have toxic overload in your body and your body's unable to detoxify properly, your metabolism is not going to be running up to par, which will then cause weight loss resistance. All right, and another one, skin rashes like eczema, rosacea can be directly correlated with the liver and the toxic overload as well. Okay, so you also want to make sure that you, I mean, I always say work with your practitioner on these things because you don't, you don't want to just go buy some liver detox off the shelf because I would say 99% of them could make you more sick because they're not proper, uh, they're not pro proper uh, cleanses basically, right? Because what you need is both phase one and phase two detoxification pathways up and running. Most of the cleanses on the market will just support phase one of detoxification. And if your phase two isn't working, which we're not going to get into the whole science behind all this because it's pretty uh, confusing and very in-depth, but basically if, if you don't have phase two going on, the, all these toxins that you're releasing from the phase one they're not going to get broken down and carried out of the body because you're lacking in phase two nutrients. So you want to have a proper cleanse kit that supports both phase one and phase two. Okay. I, I know that that's probably sounds confusing, but don't worry. I have an answer for you. <laughs> of course. Um, so what you want to do, I'm just going to still give you the general kind of overview of what you're going to be looking for in a cleanse kit, because really that is the best way to just gear up the liver, gear up the gallbladder. There's definitely things that you can take on a regular basis, and we're going to talk about that. Um, but to start with doing that, you know, four-week liver cleanse a couple of times a year is fantastic. And I also see it really just working to break through weight loss plateaus. It's the best for that. Like I'll have clients that'll be like, I'm stuck, Karen. I can't get past, you know, whatever number it is on the scale. And they do, I'll recommend doing a liver cleanse for four weeks. And sure enough, it's like the light switch gets flipped back on again and things start rolling. So definitely give it a shot. 
uh, you want to be looking for certain elements in a cleanse, right? Like I said, so uh, a couple of really good ones, turmeric, love it. Um, curcumin is what you'll be looking for. Like you can eat turmeric, which is amazing. It's very anti-inflammatory and it's a bitter, so it will help to help um, support the gallbladder in helping you to produce bile to help break down those fats. So turmeric's awesome, but you can take it a step farther and get curcumin, which is, and get a really good one that's highly absorb absorbable and it's gonna help with the liver function. It's a strong anti-inflammatory, um, antioxidant, and actually helps really, actually a lot with the gut function as well. Uh, dandelion bitters, uh, great, great. It's a great detoxifier for the liver and gallbladder. Um, it's a bitters, so I call the dandelion bitter. It's dandelion root, um, but dandelion is a bitters that will help your gallbladder to produce um, bile, right? And that's what you want. You want to be taking stuff that helps your body to produce bile. And like I said, you don't, if you don't have a gallbladder, ever more reason why you need to be taking this because now it's left to the liver to, to produce bile. So these things will help that, help the process, right? Artichoke increases bile secretion. Milk thistle is great for both as well. Liver support helps to cleanse, helps to support, and also helps support the gallbladder. And acetylcysteine is a very potent antioxidant. It's also, um, it's got a lot of hep hepato properties in it, which means it just has something, stuff that will support the liver. Uh, taurine and methionine are both amino acids that help with detoxification pathways. Uh, beet powder or beets, you can just eat beets and you're going to get a ton of benefit for your liver there. Um, and then just taking regular bitter foods, like eating bitter foods is amazing, right? Like it's something that we do not have enough of in our diet. And when you eat bitter foods, it helps the gallbladder, helps the liver to produce the bile, which is what we need to break down the fat. So I'm going to give you guys just a couple of my favorite bitters. And you can find supplements on the market that are, they're actually called bitters. And that's really the easiest way. So if you feel like you have a lot of these symptoms, taking a spoon of bitters before, about half an hour before you eat, each meal is going to help that digestive process. So if you have no gallbladder or you feel like you've got a lot of these symptoms um, and, or you just want to simply support those, that system, then definitely go look for a good quality bitters that you can take on a regular basis. Um, you can also make your own too. Uh, I've made my own. Uh, so celery, cinnamon, turmeric, beets, bitter greens, fennel, and ginger. So those are, and orange peel. Those are some of my faves that can kind of go into, you can make your own with those things. You can look that up. Uh, and like I said, take it before you eat and it will help with everything, with the whole digestive process. All right. So like I said, I've got something for you guys, of course, right? So this whole thing is leading up to my January 7th New Year's challenge, which is a liver gallbladder weight loss challenge. And what it is, is four weeks of foods, meal plan that is all geared towards supporting the liver and the gallbladder function. All right, so it's going to support everything naturally. We're going to be eating all these amazing foods that will help to produce the bile, that will help break down the fats. It is a low-carb, keto-based food plan. So for all of you that are primal, whether you're paleo, keto, AIP, paleo, this is for you. It's going to be built to kind of fit everybody's needs where you've got supplement suggestions. We've got our liver gallbladder ebook that has bitter recipes inside of it. We've got three different bitter recipes that you can make yourself so easy from home. All you need is apple cider vinegar or some vodka and some of these herbs and you most of them you can find at a grocery store. So super easy, super fun. Uh, and so we've got these four weeks of nothing but liver and gallbladder health and all geared towards losing some pounds, which 
hey, we all need to you know, lose a few pounds after Christmas. I know I ate way too much pumpkin pie and other just ridiculously amazing goodies that were brought to me. So um, if you're anything like me from the Christmas holidays, then you're going to want to jump on this. So the the cleanse challenge itself is part of the on track women's weight loss program that is for women that are following a keto or paleo based diet and are having problems losing weight. So you found the diet, but you are either now stuck at a weight loss plateau. Maybe you're wanting to fine tune things. You want help with the meal planning. You want that additional support while you are on this health journey. You want to make a lifestyle change. You don't want to just do something for 30 days and be done with it. Then check out karenmartel.com forward slash on track and you'll catch all the details over there. We've got memberships starting at 30 bucks a month and it includes the four week liver gallbladder challenge. So check it out. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me at karen at karenmartel.com and we'll see you guys soon.